And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Bambi Raptor, which was a request from Frodo Swaggins via our Discord and Patreon, so thanks. Bambi Raptor was a dromaeosaur theropod that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Montana in the U.S., in the Two Medicine Formation. And it was very bird-like. It had a narrow snout, and it had a wishbone that looked similar to modern birds. It also had long arms and a long, stiff tail. The tail may have curved upwards, but it could just look like that based on how the fossils were preserved. Bambi Raptor had long hind limbs, so it was probably a fast runner, and it had sickle-shaped claws. It may have had feathers. No feathers have been found with the fossils, but close relatives of Bambi Raptor have been found with feathers. Proportionally, Bambi Raptor was similar to Archaeopteryx. The type species is Bambi Raptor feinbergi. The holotype is nicknamed Bambi, and it was nicknamed by Wes Linster, the 14-year-old boy who discovered the dinosaur. He found the skeleton in 1993 when looking for dinosaurs with his parents near Glacier National Park in Montana. So the genus name is actually because of the specimen's nickname, Bambi. And the genus name means Bambi Caesar or Bambi Thief. Oh no, it went from being Bambi to being Bambi's murderer. (laughs) (laughs) I guess so. The species name is in honor of Michael and Anne Feinberg, who purchased the fossils and then lent them to the Graves Museum of Natural History in Florida. Bambi Raptor was described and named by David Burnham and others in 2000, and the skeleton's about 95% complete. Wow, that's really good. Yes. Well, so because the skeleton was so complete, it's been called the Rosetta Stone of Raptors, (laughs) and John Ostrom called it a jewel. The right side of the skeleton is damaged, but the rest is in good condition, though there's no end of the tail. Bambi Raptor was first thought to be a juvenile Sorornitholestes, and then later thought to be a new Velociraptor species, Velociraptor feinbergi. Bambi Raptor does help show the link between non-avian dinosaurs and birds. The holotype's probably a juvenile. It's less than three feet or one meters long. And it weighed about 4.4 pounds or two kilograms. Just a little guy. Yeah. I guess like Bambi. Yeah. And the skull was small too, only five inches or 13 centimeters long. There are also referred specimens that include two adults that were found near the holotype and an upper jawbone. But only the juvenile specimen's been described. Gregory Paul estimated Bambi Raptor adults to be 4.3 feet or 1.3 meters long and weigh 11 pounds or 5 kilograms. So even as an adult, it was smaller than a Velociraptor. That is a little guy. Mm-hmm. The holotype for Bambi Raptor had a large brain for its body, but that could be because it was a juvenile. It had a larger ratio of brain to body. Or it could also mean it was more intelligent than other dromaeosaurs. There's uh, hypotheses that include that it lived in trees or it hunted more agile prey like lizards and mammals. It probably did eat small mammals and reptiles. Bambi raptor may have been able to reach its mouth with its hands, so it could have put food into its mouth with its hands. It actually had opposable fingers. Hmm. Phil Center found that Bambi raptor could hold prey in both of its arms and then bring its food to its mouth and also touch the tips of its first and third fingers together. Wow. They used fossils and casts of Deinonychus and Bambi Raptor forelimb bones to test this. So, again, Bambi Raptor may have been able to grab its prey, kill it with its claws, and then feed itself. Well, put the food into its mouth with its hands. Oh, and it may have also used its sickle claws on its second toes to kill prey. As you'd expect for a dromaeosaur. Mm-hmm. Center, however, found that Bambi Raptor wouldn't have been able to dig. If Bambi Raptor had feathers. Its feathers may have gotten in the way of the hands, though Center said that he thought the hands may have extended beyond the feathers, if there were feathers. The description of Bambi Raptor in 2000 said that the holotype may have been male, based on its chevrons being similar to those in male crocodilians, but it's not clear. It's not like seeing ovaries or... (laughs) Yeah. The holotype of Bambi Raptor was found with hadrosaurs, probably myosaura, as well as at least three tyrannosaurid specimens. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.